Okay, this video will cover how to log into Titan Web, how to find your enrollment date, how to search for classes and add classes to your shopping cart, and finally how to actually enroll in a class. If you're totally new to the enrollment process, it will probably be helpful to sit through the whole video. Otherwise, feel free to skip to a specific topic within the video using the link times in the video description. From the UWO homepage, you're going to hover over the Titan Services drop-down menu here on the far right, then click on Titan Web. On this page, you're going to click the button that says, as a student or faculty member, that will bring you to the Titan Web login page. Your username is always a capital W followed by your seven digit student ID number. Then if you're logging in for the first time, your password is the first two letters of your first name followed by the first two letters of your last name and then the last four numbers of your student ID number. So if the student's name were Jane Doe, their password would be capital J, capital A, capital D, capital O, and then 4567. So all capital letters and no spaces. Uh, then you can go ahead and click sign in. Once you're logged in, you can change your password by clicking change my password on the left menu at the very bottom here. Okay, let's find your enrollment date. On the right hand side here in the menus under enrollment dates, your enrollment appointment will be posted here. Now we really recommend that you search for and add your classes to your shopping cart before your enrollment date. That way you can easily enroll in your classes all at once on your enrollment date. All right, to search for classes, you can either click search under the academics menu in the middle here, or click the green search for classes button on the right column at the top. Before you do anything else, make sure you have the correct semester under term. At the top of the page, there's a list of course keywords. If you need a specific course to satisfy a USP requirement, you can search for classes using these keywords. For example, if you need a lab science class, you can input the Excel keyword into course keyword down here, making sure to enclose the code in parentheses. You can also search by subject and course number. If you need a 100 level biology course, you could search less than or equal to and 200, and that will bring up all the 100 level biology courses being offered that semester. You can also define your search by session. All right, so let's search for that 100 level biology lab. Okay, so we've got three courses to choose from. And next to the course titles, you can see Excel, the code for a USP lab course, which is exactly what we searched for. For any individual class, you can click on section, which will bring you to a description of the individual class. To go back, make sure to hit view search results near the bottom of the page. If you use a regular back button, your search will be wiped out and you'll end up back on the homepage and you'll have to start all over. So now that we're back at the search results, you can see that all of these sections have green circles under their status. The green circles mean open, a blue square means closed, meaning all the seats have been filled, and the yellow triangle means there's a wait list for the class. Okay, let's go ahead and add a class to our shopping cart. To do that, just click the green select button over on the right side. Because this is a lab, you'll automatically be enrolled in the related lecture class, so go ahead and click next. This page is a review of what you're adding to your shopping cart, in this case, the lecture and lab courses. If one or both of these classes were full, you have the option to click the box to be added to the waitlist. All right, so all of this looks good. Let's click next, and both sections have been added to our shopping cart. Okay, go ahead and click on shopping cart. This is where you can enroll in all the classes you've chosen. You can use the shopping cart as a kind of catch-all for classes you're interested in, which is nice because it keeps them all in one place for you. You can compare when and where different classes meet to see if they work for your schedule, and you can delete courses you don't want. Let's enroll in a class. You can do this individually or all at once. I'll do it individually here. Just check the box next to the class you want to enroll in. Click Enroll, which brings you to the confirmation page. Click Finish Enrolling, and the green check mark means you've been successfully enrolled. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and found it helpful, give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. Get connected to the UARC via the links in the description for updates, advising information, and more.